Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem six dash three. So. The statement of problem is that the engine crane is used to support the engine which has a weight of 1200 pounds. Draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of boom ABC when it is in horizontal position. So this is the engine crane, this is horizontal beam or boom ABC. Clear the weight of this engine is 1200 pounds. So you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so first of all we will draw the free body diagram of this uh, horizontal boom of crane a b c so let this is the beam clear and the forces uh, this is point a this is point a this is point b and this is point C. At if we remove this uh, pin support, so there will be horizontal as well as vertical force. So let this horizontal force is in this direction, and vertical force is in this direction. We have assumed that. Then you can take upward as well. Okay. So this is horizontal AX and this is vertical AY. Now you can see at B point there is also uh, a force clear at this point B. So we will draw this force at point B. At point B we have the force which will be in this direction. I will show you that this is the point B. And this force is FB. FB. This force will be FB. Again, you can see this force is at a distance of three meter, uh, three feet from this point till this point. This distance is three feet, and the remaining distance from this point till point C is five feet. So this distance is 3 and this is 4. So if I draw it, the ratio, so this was 4 and this distance is 3. So by using Pythagoras theorem, this distance will be equal to 5. Because we are going to take it, we will find its horizontal and vertical components. Okay, so at point C you have the weight of this engine which is acting downward so this weight is 1200 pound now you can apply the equilibrium condition in order to get the uh, to get this unknown force fb so for that we will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive now these two forces are passing through point eight so therefore they have no effect or they are not they are producing no movement about point a the only force that is producing movement is fb the vertical component of fb and this c so if you draw this fb will have two components one in in x direction that will be fbx and the other component will be fb y here let this is theta so this vertical component if you get sine theta sine theta if you take sine theta sine theta will be equal to uh, perpendicular over hypotenuse so perpendicular is 4 and hypotenuse is 5 clear and its vertical component fby will be equal to fb sine theta So you have to replace this sine theta with 4 by 5. So it will be 4 by 5 into FB. Similarly, its horizontal component FBX will be equal to F cos theta. 
and you, if you take the cos theta of this so it will be base over hypotenuse 3 over 5 so cos of theta is equal to 3 over 5 and f will be same okay so vertical component of it is this one fby and that is equal to 4 over 5 fb so 4 over 5 fb into perpendicular distance is 3 and as it is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive the next four that is producing movement is 1200 so 1200 and perpendicular distance is 5 plus 3 8 feet so 8 and it is producing clockwise movement you can see about point a so their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get fb is equal to 4000 pound now you have this fb is equal to 4000 pound you can put it here fb is equal to 4000 so 4 over 5 into 4000 will be equal to 12 3200 so its vertical component fby is equal to 3200 pound into feet pounds and it, its horizontal component fbx will be equal to 3 over 5 into 4000 which is equal to 2400 pound okay now we have uh, this vertical uh, this force f we can apply the another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see two forces horizontal force one is ax and the second one is its horizontal component which is fbx that is shown over here their sum must be equal to zero so a minus ax plus fbx fbx their sum must be equal to 0. So minus Ax which is not known and Fbx is 2400. Their sum must be equal to 0. So it means that Ax is equal to 2400 pound. Similarly you can also find the vertical component by using this equation and taking the upward force as positive so the only vertical component force was let me show you there were three there were two forces a y vertical component of f b y and 1200 so i will write it a y is negative because it is acting downward minus 1200 which is this one plus vertical component of for force fb which is equal to 3200 i have calculated here 3200 that is equal to zero so it means that ay is equal to 2000 pound Here. Now you have all the forces you can uh, draw its shear force and free, free body diagram. So for that I will draw the beam over here that this is the beam and I will draw a vertical line from here to downward. Similarly, on other hand, I will also draw a line projecting from this end. Horizontal line for shear force. Here we will draw shear force and here we will draw the bending moment. Now horizontal forces, all the forces are shown. So there is AX, similarly here there is AY at point B, that this is point B. So at point B there was a horizontal force FBX 
and here we have a force FBY. Resultant force was FB and at point C we had 1200 pound force. This is point C, this is point B. The distance from here to this point is 3 feet and the remaining here this distance is 8 feet. So we will draw the shear force over here that will be in pound and bending moment over here which will be in pound into feet. Here let this distance is 3 feet and this is 8 feet. Clear? And similarly here the same 3 feet on 8 feet. Okay. So what we have to do is first we have to draw the shear force diagram so you can see at point A there is force AY which is acting downward and AY is 200, 2000 pound. So let one, this one is 1000 minus 1000 and this is minus 2000. Similarly this is 1000, this is 2000 and so on. One box is equal to 1000 pound. So minus 2000 will be the first this point and at point B we can see this force will this 2000 force will remain constant till point B. At point B there is FBY and FBY is I will show you FBY the value of FBY is 3200 pound. So minus 200 plus 3200 will be 1200. So it will be somewhere here. Clear? So the shear force will change from minus 200 to plus 1200. This value is 1200 pound. Now from B to C the value will be remain same. But at C we have minus 1200 and it will goes downward and become 0. So this will be your shear force diagram. Now we will move toward bending moment diagram and in bending moment diagram you can see that if I draw vertical, if I extend it here. So now the this is point A, and this was point B and this was point C. So from A to B the area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment. So its area will be equal to 200 and this distance was 3 feet. And let me show you this is 3 feet. So this area will become equal to 6000 pound into feet. This is A1 and this area under the diagram is bending moment and this is negative. Clear? So this was initially at this point there is no bending moment clear so at point till point B clear as the shear force is equal constant so till point B it is minus 6000 so let this point is 2000 pound into feet this was this become this will become 4000 and this will become equal to 6000 minus because it is downward so this point will be you will get this point so you have to join them by using a line so from this point to this point it will be a straight line because the shear force line is zero degree line clear and bending moment line will be first degree line okay so this was point b and here this will be equal to minus 6000 pound into feet now from uh, you can see at B from B to C the area under the shear force diagram that this area is A2 and this area will be equal to 1200 into 8 uh, 5 1200 into 5 clear so from here you will get the area is equal to plus 6000 so minus 6000 at and C you will get plus 6000 which will become equal to 0 so you have to draw them you can join them and you will get the bending moment diagram 
सो एरिया अंडर दिस कर विद इज द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम आई होप यू हैव नाउ अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट हाउ टू ड्रॉ द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग